there's been a lot of meta plot related things going on that your samurai could be involved with. We just had the official Scorpion Clan coup, followed by the Dragon Clan coup. Or possibly the Crane <laughs> Clan coup. Or possibly the Crane Clan coup. So it's... Uh... I'm holding out for the Every Clan coup because we've only got a few more to go and then it's just everybody. So what are some current meta plot stories that you could potentially choose to create a campaign around or, or bring into your campaign. We talked to David Latterroot not too long ago and had a good time talking about Trail of Shadows where Hida Sukune goes to get the armor Kikyo from Shinoma Forest. He takes a, a small crab legion with him with all kinds of Haruma scouts and Kuni and all kinds of things. If you have an all-crab game, run it on the same expedition. That would be a great thing. He, you don't have to do the actual getting Kiko part. There could be some other thing that you are doing, trying to keep your group alive in Shinoman Forest, trying to keep your legion alive in Shinoman Forest. You don't have to do the very capstone taking Kikyo. You can try and keep your group alive from this threat that Hidesukuni never even learns about because you took care of it or not. <laughs> Who are you taking with you on your, your quest to take the armor kick you? Well, I'm going to take a legion of Haruma, and I'm going to take a, so I'm going to take a legion of yeah, Caillou, obviously, and um, two player character groups. Can we spare two player character groups? Oh, I think we can. Excellent. Uh, I, I'm, I just love the idea. That, no, no, we've got player character groups. Just have them. Just assign them to you. That's probably not how it actually works. Oh, but you'd be very successful. <laughs> it would it, be very useful. Another novella you could use would actually be Shinjo Shono's Mission to the Burning Sands, for example, which is the unicorn novella. And there's, again, loads of stuff, loads of possible shenanigans you could get up to. That's not necessarily what Shinjo Shono's doing or what Chagatai's doing, but that orbit around that, if you like. You're still going to this faraway place. You're still meeting all of these people, but you're just a minor... PC group in his entourage and you have your own adventures to get up to and while he's off in the city you might be off in the city or camping outside and doing your own thing and then at the end of the adventure your paths cross again as he flees and the armies are attacking you and all of that good stuff so you, you can be PCs in and an active part of these novels pretty easy you can also be members of one of the armies in and around kuden kikita when daidoji uji blows it up or when matsusuko captures it both of those are big incidents you could actually have there's a little mini campaign because you have from the lion taking over the castle what happens there and and, and all the way up to the various attempts that the crane make to take it all the way up to it getting destroyed. And you could equally be a lion stumbling out of the rubble or a crane watching from the wall or even sneaking in if you've got a particularly sneaky-beaky group. If you're doing a Harrier campaign, then you could be the Harriers that do the exploding because in the fiction, it's literally Daidoji Uji says, we're doing the mission and then the mission gets done. You could, in theory, run a whole session that is you doing and, and dealing with issues along the way. And the more of you who succeed, the better it all is. And in the actual fiction, one person fails. But maybe more of you succeed, maybe fewer of you succeed in your version. But you could also be the lion trying to fight against exactly that, kind of the reversed heist movie where you realise people are doing a heist and you have to stop them. Mm -hmm. Loads of possibilities. Similarly... You got Otosan Uchi in the, the most recent fiction. Hitomi takes over the city with the army of the Rising Wave, which is actually in, in many ways very similar to the old Scorpion Clan coup. Because if you're just a resident in the city in Otosan Uchi and you've been having your little city adventure and you've been hearing about all this Metapod stuff, but you've, it's, that hasn't affected you. Obviously, you went into mourning when the Emperor died and you heard some rumours about Scorpion, but then all of a sudden there are dragon troops everywhere. 
and they are securing it, and they are instituting martial law, and now they're heading into the Forbidden City itself. And oh my goodness, load! Yeah, it's a coup, as far as you're concerned. It certainly so looks do like you one. Fight them. <laughs> yep. So, you know, you're an Otis Energy City magistrate, and there is an army of dragon marching down your street and shoving people into houses and telling them to stay there. Mm. Do you fight them? Do you start a rebellion? Do you try and rally people you know, for the regent? Yep. What yep. does this mean? These are decisions that you have to make. And no, it's not going to necessarily change the meta plot. You can't necessarily stop the whole thing, though you could, mm. depending on how you want to GM it. Uh, yep. This is your Rokugan. But so you can have a heck of an adventure trying to either stop people from fighting or causing Hitomi some losses on the way. Who do your PCs save? Who do they not save? And that kind of thing. Who do they help? Who do they not help? And that can be really important to them. So their story is still terribly important and personal, even if they don't technically change the history book. The history book still says uh, Miramoto Hitomi takes over the capital, but those little details that are important to you still happen. So that can be really cool. Now, if you're in a court-focused game, even if you aren't in the Forbidden City itself, mm -hmm. with the scorpion on top, pretty much yeah. any interaction is going to be meddled with. It's a dangerous court situation. So a minor scandal that your little PCs might be involved with suddenly becomes yet another piece on Yoshi and Shoju's chessboard going on pretty much anywhere in yeah. the entire right, right now. So now but, yeah. Yoshi is saying to one side, you've got to do this, and Shoju's saying, you got to do this. And depending on who your group is allied with, mm. um, you, even a minor court plot is ammunition for one side or another in this game going on between Shoju and, and Yoshi that's yeah. you know, I mean, characteristic of you, this power. You're getting a, a proxy war in, in a sense. So even though I think that only lasts a few months, if that, plenty of room to put a whole bunch of adventures in there. And that metaplot is affecting the landscape you're in while, not, while still giving the player characters all the freedom they could possibly want. Another thing would be interacting with the Perfect Land sect. What's happening on with the Perfect Land sect is that they've got preachers scattered throughout Rokugan. The reason that the Perfect Land sect makes an interesting nemesis is, one, it, there's very few key figures in it, but it's definitely tied to the overall storyline. But also because they blame the samurai for anything bad that's happening right now. All the bad things in the Empire are happening because of the samurai. So if the samurai are to blame for it, then your characters being samurai can easily end up a foul of these folks or a considered heretic. So there's a lot of reasons why your party would be up against perfect land sect preachers and their devotees, which could be anywhere in the Empire. Those are just some ideas for how to bring metaplot stories into L5R. And we'd love to hear any ideas that you might have to, as new fictions come out or thinking about the old fictions that you would yeah. think would cool to integrate into campaigns. And if you've had experiences of either playing in a game that had metaplot interactions or you've been running a game, what were your experiences? What worked for you? What didn't work for you? We'd love to hear those as well.